Jaron, um, you've been on a streak. I know you're a humble person. You don't like to brag and talk good about yourself, but you got to admit to yourself, you're playing at the top of your game as one of the best players in the league right now. Why are you playing so well right now? Um, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm taking what the defense is giving me it definitely a lot right now, uh, being assertive and trying to um, just uh, – not uh, like abused in that way, but abused mismatches and um, just taking it upon myself to be dominant and not and not take a possession off for real. Really just try every time to get what I want and get to my spots. It's all about spots for real. Um, I'm learning that more and more each game. It's about spots because spots become more and more repetitive each game. I'm trying to get to certain places on the floor where I can really be successful. <laughs> Jaron, obviously, you guys have been super supportive of Ja from before he came back to yes to Monday, obviously, but tonight, just to kind of hear the ovation he got from the crowd, to kind of see him get back in the rhythm. What what was it like for you guys as his teammates, just kind of watching this night kind of unfold? Uh, I was cheesing. I couldn't uh, hold it in for real. Like I was a. Uh, I was locked in, and then I started cheesing because everybody started uh, cheering real loud, and I, I knew I knew how loud they were gonna cheer. I really tracked every time they cheered because I just you know you like 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 soak it in. And I was just like, all right, they cheered when he came out. They cheered. The people on the top didn't see him, but then they showed him on the jumbo, and they cheered. And they didn't know he wasn't. <laughs> they thought he was gonna start, and then they were like thrown, and then they were. Like, oh. and then he came in. And they cheered. And then uh, when when he came first came in and he cheered because I went in with him, I was like we we are on defense and I just <laughs> I just started laughing <laughs> with Santi, Santi started laughing too. We were just like all right. And then uh, yeah, and then he got a offensive foul first possession. They're like yeah, like da, da, da. he was playing good defense today, so it was lit. What, what did you think of Ja asking to come off the bench and just how that worked? Yeah, I mean. Uh, I didn't know all the ins and outs behind it because that's you know that's him. But um, I guess that's just you know how he wants to merge back in and uh, yeah. He, I think it's just credit to the the work we've been doing in in his absence, trying to hold it down. Um, and he, I think he wanted us to keep a little bit of whatever rhythm we we thought we we had and. Uh, and Ty's has been unreal. So, I mean, uh, how many minutes he play? He played 20, still played 20, 23 minutes. I mean, shoot, it's whatever, it's whatever anybody wants to do to get these wins. I mean, it really never matters when, when you play. You're going to have stints with every rotation there is. Uh, but I guess, you know, he's a humble guy. <laughs> he's a humble guy. You had a delayed start to the season coming off the foot injury, and it, it seemed like it initially there was a pretty hard cap on your minutes. You were they were going to play you, and that playing time's gone up every month since then. Do you feel like they're ramping you up and they're ready to give you thirty five a night in the playoffs? And do you feel like you're ready for that? For sure. I mean, tonight was thirty five. Um, I'm ready for it whenever. You got to be, got to be in that mode. You got to ramp up at the right times, especially like late in the season. Kind of test your body, see where you're at. But I'm definitely, I'm definitely ready. Hey, Jerry, you won the last whole overs from the 22 win team. How much better it feels being part of a 44 win and winning back to back division champions? 22 win, we said? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely a much better feeling. Uh, you know, that was just a different type of year. And uh, 44 wins probably feels different than it did last year. I don't know how many wins we got last year. 56. Uh, you know, we've been in certain situations before, so you, the, the excitement from it kind of goes down because you expect to be here. Uh, but you still appreciate, you know, all the moments, you know, all the work it took to get here. I think we definitely will acknowledge it probably later on, on uh, you know, later on. <clears throat> now, Jaren, you know, you've um, been able to describe some of Jaws' best dunks throughout his time here and obviously with everything going on today um his second bucket of the game I mean it was <laughs> it was you know what happened um can you just go walk us through that play and where do you put that 
on your all-time job list? Uh, I mean, great play by coach, uh, coach of the year, for sure. And you see why right there. Um, but I mean, very underrated dunk. I got to say underrated because I mean, there's just so many at this point that there's no way to, I'm definitely not putting it in the top 10. That'd be just, that'd be, that'd be disrespectful. Um, but it was it was tough. Like I was like, I don't know why I dunked it. I did not think he was gonna try to dunk it, to be honest. I felt like I don't know why I even thought that, but you know, sometimes I just like thought, I mean, he may just lay this in, but he dunked it. And I was like, All right, cool. Dope. That one was tough. I was like, Yeah. But definitely not top ten, probably not even top fifteen for him. <laughs> Do you feel like now that he played a game, looked pretty much like himself by and large like y'all as a team can turn the page on all of this um or have you maybe you already have since he returned i'm just curious what the yeah. feeling is in, in the locker room now that he's back he's played a game and all yeah that. i mean we just wanted him back that's pretty much it uh as far as turning a page i mean pretty much turn the page i don't know when probably already probably already happened it's just kind of Ne there was never really a a, a, a need for us. It, it's, you know, we're just going through the year. At the end of the day, everything's really normal for us, and we just are happy to have him back, period. Call yourself a, a finished product offensively, but where you are right now, is this kind of your ideal offensive package, dominating inside with also the threat to take guys off the dribble and the three-point shot as well? Yeah, it sounds pretty good, you know. I definitely have the potential to be good. So I think just growing into the potential that I have, potentially I could be good. And, yeah, potential is great. You got to just you gotta get there. Potentially I will. What do you think of K.J. Martin trying to dunk one on you? <laughs> uh, I mean, that's him, man. He's high flyer, super bouncy. I pretty much expected that. I'm glad it didn't go in because, you know, damn. But, uh, yeah, he uh, – yeah. He's going to try that all the time. I think he got me, like, maybe, like, last year or something like that, maybe one time in Houston. Uh, but, I mean, he's tried, like, every single time we've played him. Like, you just know that that's him. Like, he's trying to dunk everything. He's jumping over the basket. So, I mean, yeah, we see him in 48 hours. I bet he'll try again.